से कल्पना हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व x dy minus y dx equals to x y square dx right given differential equation is x dy minus y dx equals to x y square dx also we can rewrite it as consider as equation 1 x y square dx equals to x dy minus y dx then x y square dx plus y dx minus x dy equals to zero right fine so we are having x y square dx plus y dx minus x dy equals to zero, right? You can write it as x y square plus y two dx by simply taking dx differential dx common from the first two terms. Okay, minus third term will be as it is, right? Which is of m dx plus m dy equals to zero form, where m equals to x y square plus y and n equals to minus x, right? So If do n by do y is equals to do n by do x, then we can say that the given equation is an exact equation. So let's check do n by do y. Okay, equals to do by do y of for m equals to x y square plus y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll read x as constant. Is equals to do by do y of first term plus do by do y of second term. This equals to constant into do by do y of y square plus do y by do y, which is equals to x into partial derivative of y square with with respect to y is two y plus do y by do y is one, which is equals to two x y. Plus one, right? So we have do m by do y equals to two x y plus one. Now let's find do n by do x. Do n by do x equals to do by do x. So for n equals to minus x. This equals to minus do by do x of x. Which is equals to minus two x by two x equals to partial derivative of x with respect to x is one, right? So two n by two x equals to minus one. So it's clear that two n by two y is not equals to two n by two x. From this, we can say that one therefore one is non. Exact. Since one is non ad non exact, so what we have to do here? We have to reduce the given equation to an exact equation. So for that purpose, we'll be using inspection method. That is, we'll be using differential formula to solve the problem. Right? Fine. So here we are having y square. If We can remove this y square. You'll get x dx, right? So it will be easy to integrate x dx. Okay, fine. Now coming to the next two terms. We have a formula differential x by y equals to y into dx minus x into dy by y square. So in order to apply this formula, we need divided by y square and in order to remove this y square we need divided by y square so commonly we need 1 by y square to this and also 1 by y square to this two terms right so here the integrating factor will be 1 by y square or integrating factor 
is 1 by y square or by simply dividing y square we can say okay then this becomes x y square dx plus y dx minus x dy equals to 0. Right. Then x y square by y square into dx plus y dx minus x dy by y square equals to 0. Now you can cancel y square from these two terms so that you'll get x dx and here you can replace it by differential x by y, right? Let it be, okay? Coming to this equation, not this one, this one. So firstly, we have to check whether this equation is an exact equation or not okay so we are having x y square dx plus y dx minus x dy by y square equals to zero right then x y square dx by y square plus y by y square dx minus x by y square dy equals to 0, right? Then, x dx plus 1 by y dx minus x by y square into dy equals to 0, right? So, again, you can write this as Take dx common from the first two terms, then you will get x plus 1 by y into dx minus x by y square into dy equals to 0, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? Where m equals to x plus 1 by y and n equals to x by y square. By comparing these two equations, we'll get m and n, okay? Fine. Now, find dou n by dou y. This equals to dou by dou y of x plus 1 by y, which is equal to, since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 plus partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Okay, so we got minus 1 by y square. Right, now let's find dou n by dou x is equals to dou y dou x so for n equals to x by y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so 1 by y square is treated as constant. So constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x. Right? This equals to One by y square into partial derivative of x with respect to x is one. Here it is. We have minus. Okay. Fine. This equals to minus one by y square. So.
partial derivative of m with respect to y is minus 1 by y square and partial derivative of n with respect to x is minus 1 by y square. From this, we can say that this reduced equation is an exact equation. Okay. Which is an exact equation. Right. Now, apply the formula is equals to x dx plus differential x by y equals to 0. Integrating by integrating integral x dx plus integral differential x by y equals to you can write c or you can write 0. Okay. After integrating you can write c. It's your wish. You can write c firstly or if you wish you can write c after integrating. Okay. Integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus integral dx by y is x by y equals to c. Okay. If theta equals to x by y you know that integral d theta equals to theta, right? Then integral differential x by y will be x by y. Okay. Which is the required general solution. The given equation. Okay, fine. So we have seen a problem from non exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.